print email Facebook Twitter more first criminal prosecution of female genital mutilation in Queensland goes to trial the first couple to be prosecuted on female genital mutilation charges in Queensland is expected to face day one of their trial today, after they allegedly took two girls aged 9 and 12 to Africa to undergo the procedure. The African man and woman, who cannot be named for legal reasons, were charged in 2015 on two counts each of removing a child from the state for female genital mutilation. The offence was introduced as legislation 18 years ago, and carries penalties of up to 14 years imprisonment, but this is the first criminal case to go before the courts in Queensland. UNICEF estimates at least 200 million girls and women globally have undergone the practice, also known as female circumcision, or female genital mutilation slash cutting, FGM slash C, as part of a long standing cultural tradition. However, it states the exact number of girls and women worldwide living with FGM slash C remains unknown. So what is FGM slash C? The World Health Organization says female genital mutilation includes all procedures involving partial or total removal of the external female genitalia, or other injury to the female genital organs for non-medical reasons. Organization said it occurred in 30 countries including Africa, the Middle East and Asia and was not considered a religious tradition, but a cultural one. Brisbane woman Sabat Abraham, who is Christian Orthodox, and not connected to the trial, was cut by her mother in Northeast Africa when she was just one week old. She said some cultures would wait until girls were old enough to be married before circumcising them, and said the main purpose was to control their sexuality. Because the culture is that, the woman is a wife and a mother, Ms. Abraham said. They think if a woman is not circumcised, they would have sex with other men. How prevalent is it in Queensland? True relationships and reproductive health has worked on awareness and education around FGM slash C for 40 years. One of the True Organization's project coordinators, Branka Bogdan, said cases of the practice occurring in Australia had dramatically declined but it was extremely difficult for authorities to monitor. Statistics are very patchy and we can never really know the truth behind each and every situation, she said. But what we know is that the numbers are going down and cases occurring in Australia are virtually non-existent. What we're now seeing is a very significant population who are living with and aging with FGM slash C so we need to be creating better services. Queensland Health said there had been less than 100 cases of females diagnosed with a history of female genital mutilation in the past three years, but those figures could be an underrepresentation, as women might not attend hospital because of cultural and or other reasons. The Department of Home Affairs DHA, said the Australian government was actively working at domestic and international levels to support women and girls affected by FGM slash C. In a statement, a DHA spokesperson said the procedure was criminalized in all states and territories and it will continue to monitor the effectiveness of the legislation.